I'm Peter Beer, and this is the sixth episode in our NCYC pilgrimage preparation series. In this episode, we're going to look at arriving at our pilgrimage destination, the National Catholic Youth Conference. Jesus, I see you in the sunshine. Jesus, I'm swimming in your ocean. Jesus. Okay, so you've spent months making preparations with your pilgrimage group. You set off with the blessing of your parish community, you travel distances great and small, and you've experienced many things, and now you're about to arrive at the goal of your pilgrimage. So how do you know that you're really there? Will you recognize it when you get there? How do you know the journey is really over? I am so amazed at the wonders of you. I'm sure you've been listening to stories about past NCYCs. Maybe you've watched the promotional video a few dozen times, or you've been on the virtual pilgrimage at MyCatholicVoice.com. You've been preparing your mind for what NCYC will look like. Crowds of tens of thousands of people, moving liturgies, great concerts, and inspiring workshops. So there's no doubt that you'll recognize it when you get there. You're not going to confuse it for a Star Trek convention or football game. Jesus, you're in the river flow. Arriving at your pilgrimage destination can be a confusing event. I'm excited to finally get there, but I'm a little sad to abandon the path that brought me there. Will my experience at the destination be as powerful as the journey to get there? It's this road you're on, the journey you've been traveling that will ensure that you're ready for NCYC. And once you get there, your job is to stop walking, to open up your heart and let yourself be filled with God's gifts. You aren't there to work or supply other people with gifts, but you are there to be filled up and let yourself overflow. While you're at NCYC, do everything you can to be in the moment and let God work in you. So here are some ideas on how you can do this. Participate in everything from the workshops to the hand motions, say the prayer responses, visit the exhibition hall, from the sacred to the silly, do it all. Meet other pilgrims. Meeting other people and hearing their stories, swapping trading items, or just giving random people high fives will make your NCYC pilgrimage so much richer. It's not advised, however, to start any romantic relationships at NCYC, especially with people who live a thousand miles away from you. Take time for yourself. Take time every day to rest, reflect, and pray. There will be plenty of opportunities for prayer, reconciliation, Eucharistic adoration, and Mass. So let yourself be rejuvenated so you can be filled up. Leave home at home. Don't be distracted by the things you left behind. Turn off your cell phone and don't worry about updating your status. Let the world outside fade into the background and allow God to work in you. Let's say you're not going to NCYC. Either you're on the virtual pilgrimage, or it's a month after NCYC and you're back to life as usual. Do these principles of pilgrimage still apply to you? Calling NCYC the destination of our pilgrimage can be a little misleading. You see, our lives are a pilgrimage, a continual journey towards the Kingdom of God, to Jesus Himself. We have many destinations on our pilgrimage journey, mountaintop experiences that lead us to the ultimate goal of heaven. Looking at pilgrimage in this way makes NCYC a short stop on the road. We have the potential to make every moment of our lives a sacred destination, and every step we take can be a sacred journey if we want it to be. All I have to do is be purposeful with my intentions and make the conscious decision to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. These moments of sacred destination happen all the time around us but we have to be aware of them happening. We must always be prepared to stop and quiet ourselves for a moment and be aware of what God is doing, to listen for His voice, and then thank God for the experience. I've been waiting for a long time, long time. see the light. I've been waiting for a long time, long time. To know your power. I've been waiting for a long time. So here Let's make this moment in time a sacred destination and the earth beneath our feet holy ground. And when we get to NCYC, either in person or online, all this time that we spent on the pilgrimage road will pay off when we see the crowds of tens of thousands cheering for Jesus. We'll see you there. Peace, pilgrims.